but it's good to be, you know, welcomed and fan, you know, the fan, the thing is fans just go wherever, you know, wherever you go. Cause if you're an MMA fan, you're an MMA fan. It doesn't matter if you're a UFC fan. If I have fans, it doesn't matter. They go from watching UFC to Bellator cause they're Roy Nelson fans. Javi's, you know, definitely a strong competitor. He's a young buck. So he's a guy that's getting better and better every time cause he's still young. I mean, I think he's like 27, 28. But, you know, he knocked out Sergey. We'll do some MMA math. He knocked out Sergey, and Sergey's knocked out Overeem. He's knocked out for Doom. Javi, you know, knocked out him in 15 seconds. So that means definitely he can knock out me. I've always been that guy going, whoever. Um, and that's who they gave me. I, there was no real choice because I'm always going, well, who has the belt? That's the guy I want to fight. Like, I don't really care. Like, oh, okay, let's just fight for the belt. Like, I don't, I, I really don't care. Uh, but then I realized that, like, in the UFC, the belt doesn't really make a difference because it's all, you know, smoke and mirrors. Um, I was just, I was like, okay, I want to fight that guy. And then, oh, that guy doesn't want to fight you. And then I was like, what? throughout the whole, my whole career, I was told that you just fight whoever they put in front of you. But then they got, no, that guy's not going to fight you. I'm like, what? I thought he was number two in a guy in the world. Like, I was it is scared of me? That's crazy. Like, so that's why I'm like, I, like it became smoke and mirrors over there. The one thing I do want to do is uh, try to get to the belt, and that's where the one thing about Scott Coker does do is he does do the, usually the Grand Prix. So it's basically you earn your way to the belt, not, well, uh, you came over to dinner last night, so maybe, you know, I'll let you, I'll hook you up. You know, like I like that, that's the word that you've you've come off of uh, two losses, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and let you fight for that belt. The one thing about like Grand Prix and like tournament formats, and in, we'll just say in sports, it just takes out all the politics and all the bull. How I actually got Brother Fareed was like you know diamond in the rough because um, you know I, I was gonna go back to I was going back to Jeff, and then Jeff actually was working with a world champion, but I think it was in Panama. So like timing just didn't mess up. So I was gonna be with uh, Jeff, and then and then Jeff uh, said, "Hey, why don't you talk to you know like so and so?" And then and then so and so said, "Hey, why don't you talk to so and so?" And then so and then I that's how I got Brother Freed. And then I talked to Mo about Brother Freed, and he's like, he's like, dude, oh, Freed's awesome. My fight style always earns more fans. So if anything, they're gonna go tell their friends and go, dude, you gotta watch Roy again. Oh, Roy, oh, you gotta watch. And that's all I ask for. Evolution in, in MMA is always a, like for me, I'm always, I feel like I'm a better fighter than my last fight, even if I lost. If, usually you lose, uh, when you lose, you, you make more adjustments, you make uh, bigger gains than when you actually win. Um, but the one thing I've always, even with my big wins, I've always made those adjustments to actually be a better fighter.